Well, Tristan Thomas here chatting with Kevin Forty, Minot State Athletic Director, and let's start with the biggest news of the, the parting of ways between the Minot State Athletic Program and uh, head football coach uh, Mike Aldrich. I mean, just tell me ultimately what went into that decision. Well, there's a lot of uh, conversations that I had between myself and uh, the president, Dr. Shirley. I uh, talked for quite a few weeks about uh, the, the program, the state of the program, where we want to see that thing headed. I, I talked to Coach Aldrich um, and some other members of the, the president's staff and some other people that I, um, my mentors, and, and kind of figured out that at the end of the day, it was time to make a change. Uh, you never want to make those decisions. Those are things that you never look forward to, but um, it was time to make a change to get some uh, new energy into the program. And uh, the search for the next coach, already underway. What's the timeline like for uh, who the next guy will be? Well, uh, we've received lots of calls and emails uh, regarding the position. There's been a lot of interest um, already. Uh, the job hasn't been posted yet. Once the job gets up on the websites and on the, on the different uh, social media areas, um, we'll have, have so many days we got to keep it open for state law and then uh, evaluate what we uh, what we have coming in. I'm going to be recruiting some people to apply for the position and uh, we'll kind of see how, how that goes and, and who we can be interested in coming to mind at Minot State University. And ultimately, what are some of the, the traits you're looking for in the, the person who's going to be the next head coach? You know, that's a tough question to answer because there's a whole, so many factors when it comes to a coach and what um, their their strengths and weaknesses are. You know, it's, I, I kind of uh, relate it to having a spouse. You know, what do you really look for? There's a whole bunch of variables that uh, matter when trying to find someone you're going to spend a lot of time with. And same thing with a, with a head coaching candidate. We want to make sure we find the right, th- right person, the right fit for Minot, the right p- fit for Minot State. Uh, we want to go through this process relatively quickly. We want to make sure we don't rush, though. We want to find the best person. And ultimately, what do you um, believe are some of the reasonable expectations you think for the, the football program and, and what can be achieved on the field? Sure. I think that, uh, first of all, we got some talent in the room. Coach Aldridge did a great job with how his student athletes you know, handle themselves being a student in the community, in the classroom, obviously graduating at a high rate. Um, They've done really well in that aspect. Um, now it's time to take that next step, bring some new energy into the room, and see what we can do. Because, like I said, there's talent here. We got to make sure that we can bring out the best uh, with the people that we have on, on on campus. And obviously, a big thing in, in college sports, and especially in football, is that the transfer portal is, is a is a, a trait you're maybe looking for as someone who could utilize that portal uh, in, at this level. I think uh, utilizing every uh, recruiting um, connection that person might have is is important. Don't that be um, uh, traditional high school, which we obviously want to do that as well, but we also look at transfers. And being in the transfer portal versus a two-year versus four-year transfers, that coach is going to have to have um, expectations to go in and look at what's in there and what's out there because you know there's not every person in the transfer portal is a person we want to have at Minot, but there might be some that would be a good fit for us. Yeah, and also your first fall sports season here at in the, in, in the position, not your first it's within athletics, of course, of course. but uh, what what did you kind of learn and what were some of the major takeaways from, from that first fall season? Well, you know, I really, um, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been doing this for 20 plus years. And what, what really excited me, what really kind of was surprising to me was the community support. I really did not expect the the city of Minot, the surrounding community to be as um, supportive as of Minot State. Um, like I said, I've been in this conference a long time. There isn't this kind of support, this level of um of, of passion at other places. And so it was really fun to see Monad State community be involved with us and, you know, really, you know, love up our fall sports. And are there ultimately any goals you're looking to achieve as in this winter sports calendar and maybe just some things you're looking forward to? Well, I think that we got some really high quality programs in this winter. Our men's hockey program is number one in the country. Women's program is, I think they were top five um, the last poll. Men's and women's basketball are really exciting. Uh, they're both having a very good start to their season um, they, they're fun to watch they're uh, they get after they can score some points and they can they can do some damage in this in this conference which is obviously very high quality basketball and then we got our two wrestling programs and our wrestling program also is strong and so I think our winter sports season we're I'm expecting big things and I hope everybody gets a chance to come out and and, and watch because it's all it's a lot of fun and we try to put on a good show and we're all going to get better all right Kevin appreciate the time